got an argument the other day with a friend of mine that somebody needed to do some motor work. Motor work, motor work. It ain't fast enough. And uh, I asked him just a couple of simple questions. You know, how does it corner? Are the brakes not sufficient? I mean, where are you riding? What I was getting down to is what kind of fast are you talking about? Uh, like fast on a road like this, the motor is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's not near as important as your suspension setup. Quality of your tires. Um, good brakes. I mean, really, if you can run one in, 40 feet deeper to the corner, trail break it a little bit, scrub just enough to where you're not dirt tracking the son of a bitch all the way through. And then get a good damn drive off the other side. That's fast. You know, creeping along, steering through the corners. And when I say steering, I mean sitting up straight and turning the wheel the way you want to go. You know, it's going slow enough where you can't counter steer the damn thing. And then just hammer down on any straightaway you got. That ain't fast. That's that's being a dipshit. You need to pull over and let everybody buy. Or go take an MSF course or a track day. Ed Bargy had the greatest racing school like, ever was. And I'm not saying he knows more than anybody or is a better teacher. But he made you ride the damn bike. And I've heard of him, you know, dismissing people halfway through the course, halfway through the day. Uh, not for being unsafe, or not for, you know, cutting a corner, or for passing when you wouldn't supposed to. He may scold you a little bit, but he wasn't gonna kick you out of the class. The man actually wanted you to learn something. But he would take, say, an inline four on your tachometer, so this one, I mean, the red line on this one's seven gram, but it's the V-twin push rod. But like an inline four, he would tape the tack up to 7,000 RPM. It come below 7,000, you couldn't even see the needle no more. And his thinking was, if you don't have it spooled up to at least that, this is a racing school, buddy. You're not, you're not trying hard enough. If you need to slow down, you need to be down around second gear in the corner. You don't lug one to a corner if you're racing. And that was, I mean, hell, that's good advice. That's, that's great. That's good knowledge, and he was hard-headed enough to enforce it. You're bogging people down. If you're getting in the way, he's going to pull you off the track. You're hurting everybody else's progress. Get the fuck out of the way. Don't be scared of it. Get down on it. You had to show up with new or damn near new tires. Uh, very little prep, like racetrack prep. I mean, you safety wire, the oil plug, the drain plug, and the filler cap, and a radiator, if you had it, needed to have just water or something besides, you know, regular fluid. It, it gets really damn slick when it hits the ground. 